Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, small uh, circle with radius uh, lowercase r is fully inscribed uh, in a cyclic quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, the side lengths uh, of uh, this cyclic quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D, R, 2, 3, 6 uh, and 5 uh, respectively. And furthermore, uh, these are uh, the points uh, of uh, tangency. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, inscribed uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D and we are going to ignore uh, this uh, inscribed uh, circle. As you can see in this uh, next step, the small uh, circle has disappeared and we are going to focus uh, on this uh, quadrilateral and this uh, big circle. And now let's recall the definition of a cyclic uh, quadrilateral. If all the vertices of the quadrilateral lie on the very same uh, circle, as you can see in our case, uh, all the vertices of this quadrilateral A, B, C, D lie on uh, the circle. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, cyclic uh, quadrilateral, the area of this uh, cyclic quadrilateral. And we are going to use the Brahma Kupta's uh, formula, a formula used to calculate the area of the cyclic uh, quadrilateral. And here's our Brahma Kupta's uh, formula. The area of this uh, cyclic quadrilateral is going to be equal to the square root of uh, S minus A times S minus B times S uh, minus C and finally S minus D where uh, lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase c and lowercase d are the side lengths uh, of this uh, cyclic uh, quadrilateral and S is going to be equal to the sum of all these uh, side lengths A plus B plus C plus D all over 2. So no wonder S is uh, called uh, the semi-perimeter. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the value of uh, S and we are going to substitute this uh, A value. This lowercase a value is uh, 2, B value is uh, 3, C value is 6 uh, and finally D value is uh, 5 as you can see in this uh, next step and here I have substituted uh, all those uh, side lengths value and now we are going to add these uh, numerator values so s is going to be equal to if we add the numerator value that's going to be 16 divided by 2 so therefore our s value turns out to be 8 so thus our s value turns out to be 8 and here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, cyclic uh, quadrilateral ABCD. We already figured out our S value which is 8. Our A value is 2. Likewise our S value is once again 8. Lowercase b value is 3. This S value is 8 minus uh, this C value is 6. And finally this S value is 8 and our lowercase d value is 5. As you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted all those uh, values and now we can see 8 minus 2 is 6, 8 minus 3 is 5, 8 minus 6 is 2 and finally 8 minus 5 is 3 and now we can see this turns out to be equal to square root of uh, 36 uh, times uh, 5 and we know the square root of 36 uh, is uh, 6. So therefore the area of this uh, cyclic uh, quadrilateral uh, turns out to be 6 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 5 uh, square units. So thus we figured out uh, the area of this cyclic uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD as uh, 6 times square root of uh, 5. And here's our next step and this time uh, I have introduced this uh, smaller circle uh, as well. And now we are going to ignore this uh, big circle. As you can see in this uh, next step, the big circle has disappeared. And here we can see that O is the center of this uh, inscribed circle, whereas uh, E, F, G and H are the points of tangency. 
and here's our next step now i'm going to connect uh, this center all with these uh, all uh, points of uh, tangency as you can see in this uh, next step i have connected uh, all these uh, points and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, o e o f o g and o h are the radii of this uh, very same circle i'm going to label uh, this radius as the lowercase r likewise the lowercase r lowercase r and finally lowercase r as well and now let's recall the circle theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees so no wonder all these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees each since uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, are the tangent lines and these uh, are uh, our uh, radii and in this uh, next step i am going to connect uh, this uh, center o with these uh, all uh, vertices a b c and uh, d as you can see in this uh, next step i have connected uh, all uh, these uh, points and as a result we are ended up with these uh, four triangles this is the first uh, triangle this is the second one this is the third uh, one and this is our fourth one and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of all these uh, four uh, individual uh, triangles and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and here we can see that these uh, radii are 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 the heights uh, of these individual uh, triangles and these are uh, the bases uh, of these uh, triangles uh, respectively so therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, abo is going to be our base is uh, 2 and our radius is r so this is going to be 2 times uh, r divided by 2 and i'm going to label uh, this area for this uh, triangle as uh, a sub 1 uh, area and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, bco whose uh, base is 3 and the radius is uh, lowercase r let's assume the area of this uh, triangle i'm going to label is at uh, a sub 2 is going to be equal to 3 r divided by 2 and likewise the area of this uh, triangle cdo is going to be i'm going to label this one as uh, a sub 3 area is going to be equal to 6 uh, r divided by 2 and finally the area of this uh, triangle uh, a d o is going to be i'm going to label this one as uh, a sub 4 is going to be equal to 5 r divided by 2 and now let's make an observation we can see the area of this uh, cyclic quadrilateral a b c d is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, individual areas uh, a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4 and we figured out uh, all these uh, individual areas uh, over here and now i am going to fill in the blanks uh, on the right hand side our a sub 1 uh, area is uh, 2 r divided by 2 plus a sub 2 area is uh, 3 r divided by 2 plus a sub 3 area is uh, 6 r divided by 2 and plus finally our a sub 4 area is 5 r divided by 2 and here we can see r divided by 2 they are in common across uh, the board as you can see so therefore i can write uh, r divided by 2 as a factor outside so therefore we are ended up with the 16 r divided by 2 and that is going to be equal to 8 uh, times r and now let's compare these uh, two equations the quadrilateral area over here is 6 times square root of 5 and likewise the area is uh, 8 times r so therefore we are going to compare these two equations so we can equate the right hand sides uh, as well so therefore we can write uh, 8 times radius r is going to be equal to 6 times uh, square root of 5 
we are going to divide both sides by a to isolate r so therefore our radius uh, r is going to be equal to if we reduce this thing that is going to give us uh, 3 times square root of 5 divided by 4 units and here's our answer and our radius could also be written as uh, approximately equal to 1.677 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye